Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Roland. Roland is from Poland. So let's see what Roland has to say. Enjoy the interview. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Amazing, amazing. Hi, <laughs> William. I was nervous a little bit, you know, but I didn't no even know. No, no need to be nervous. Everything is cool, everything is calm, <laughs> everything is sorted in the end. <laughs> I don't even know what I did, you know, if wrong, you know, so. Not a problem. So how's your day been so far? Is your day okay? Yes, my day is okay, but the weather changed. Suddenly it's dark, so dark now. It was sunny, but now it's raining uh, and there was a thunderstorm, so. Ooh, it's good. This weather is good to be at home, cozy. Yeah, especially if you have someone, you know, your loved one. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't have it, it's just like cuddle yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm still nervous <laughs> a little bit, you know. So this is, you know, I've never done it before, so this is my first time. And even a uh, Zoom conversation is something new to me. So I hope I this feeling will go away soon. So. I'm sure. I think Zoom now, Zoom is connecting the world now. After the, you know, the COVID crisis, you know, the COVID situation, I think the whole world uh, is connecting with, through Zoom, social media. And um, imagine if the COVID crisis happened, like say 20 years ago, with no technology. Oh my God, it would be a trouble. It would be trouble. <laughs> but you know, but for me, it's still it's the first time, yes. <laughs> Roland, so tell me where are you from? I'm from Poland. Yeah. Mm. And, I, and I, live, uh, I live in the middle of the country, right, right in the middle. So. Shema! <laughs> yeah, people, you know, uh, especially here in this city, people used to use this word, you know, so often. Yeah. Yes, I have a lot of Polish friends and I go uh, like, Dzień dobry, Shema. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> what's, what's the name of your city? Ah, the name. Uh, the name of my city is Luc. Mm -hmm. How Luch? far is it from, uh, from Warsaw? From Warsaw? Uh, not not too far away. It's like uh, one one hour twenty minutes uh, distance by a train. Okay, so it's pretty pretty close. It's not too far. And um, what do you like the most about your city? About my city, <laughs> you know, uh, actually I wasn't born here. I was born at the sea. I just moved here when I finished my. Uh, Couple years after I finished my college, you know. Ah. But uh, uh, the first fault, uh, I like freedom here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a big city. It's a lot of. Uh, uh, there's not so much, for example, uh, gay clubs in every every city in Poland, but only in the huge ones. And there is something about uh, maybe not that much like in other countries in Europe. You know, like in Amsterdam, for example, but still, you know, comparing uh, different ci Polish cities, you know, which is the one you can feel a little bit more free here. So I appreciate appreciate that. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Roland, and um, what do you do for work? What do you do for a living? Uh, uh, I used to work like a t art teacher. Mm -hmm. But not anymore. Now, uh, after many changes in my life, uh, now I'm a security guard mm -hmm. and I'm working in a court. Oh, wow. And, uh, uh, but I believe you are an artist as well. You have a lot of uh, arts, paintings. Yeah. Uh, I, I just treat this, uh, this job like, like a second job so I can paint, you know, because uh, uh, during a couple years, I, I, I guess, I don't remember now, three or four years, I, I just, you know, I just painted for, for a living and I mm -hmm. managed, uh, but it was uh, from the, from, on the other hand, it was uh, 
stressful a little bit because you never know when you sell something you know yeah i i love this kind of freedom you know but i decided to to find something you know this job now it's uh, this is not a challenge it's not uh, so ambitious i know that but you know i i just treat it like you know something that helps me to to paint and and uh, when i came back home so my mind my mind is free i don't need to think about anything so <laughs> no, I work from Monday to Friday, so all of the weekends, uh, no, I have I'm free. So it's a lot I of time to paint. I see, but you still have some paintings, like uh, somewhere. Uh, you mean uh, galleries or? Yeah, galleries, or you have your own place where you keep those. Mm -hmm. I have a long break right now. Uh, I used to have. Uh, uh, when I when I uh, lived in America, so I have uh, uh, three uh, one solo show in it was in Binghamton, New York, New York State. Wow! And two, and two uh, groups uh, group shows in New York. So and I and I sold you know a couple of paintings you know there. And, and then I have some uh, some solo shows here in Poland, mm -hmm. in the city when I uh, when I was when I was studying. Yeah, when my, when my art college is, and here in Łódź. Yeah. But now I had a long break, so I just. But actually, for me, it's even difficult to to make a show because you need at least twenty paintings. To you know to prepare a really professional show but mm -hmm. i paint and sell i paint and sell so right now i have only two paintings so I... that's not enough. that's not, not enough and i don't even think uh, you know for the moment about uh, exhibition yeah i think i think those times will come with time not i mean if one day you feel like okay it's time for me to start it again organize exhibition something it will come naturally you know what i mean yeah. yeah, sure. Yes, I, I started thinking about it. Maybe I can change. I can do something about it. This is one absolutely. Of my, one oh, <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> but you know what? It's so dark today. I needed to move a furniture. I I move a table to talk to talk to you because uh -huh. the place I wanted to to talk to you. It was too dark. You know, even if, uh, with artificial light. It wasn't good, so I, I needed to move, you know, close to the window. <laughs> <laughs> Roland, um, before we start our journey, William and the Magic Box, um, you told me uh, you're chatting before, and you said that you lived as well in Denmark and Sweden. Did you la did you live there because of um, because of uh, your your art or because uh, of any other reason? In Sweden. Yeah. yeah. I had a family in Sweden. Ah, actually, my my father. That's a long story. You know, my my father comes from Sweden. Uh, my mother is there. My sister. So, uh, I was from a very very little boy. I was traveling, you know, back and forth, back and forth, you know. So, th that was the reason. I I used to live in Denmark, you know. In, De in Denmark, I, I went to a school, language school. Uh, so I speak with my Danish friends. I speak and I write in Danish. So, and I and I worked in, in Denmark and I was there for years and I came back to came back to Poland. So I see. All right, Roland, <laughs> are you ready to go on a beautiful journey through your memories in life and to share your point of views? Yeah. Amazing! Welcome to William and the Magic Box. <laughs> so this is my best friend, full of random fun questions, okay? I'm just gonna play a song now, just for us to move a little bit before the first question, okay? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, Roland, so before we start the game, through the journey, if there is a question that you don't have an answer for, you don't want to answer, I always can change, okay? It's all very okay. friendly, okay? okay? 
first question for you is what's the best advice have you ever received wow advice mm. <laughs> easy questions william please <laughs> <laughs> easy advice the, the most first advice mm. let me think a little bit sure um, I guess, you know, to be myself, to be brave in life. I had a lot of moments in my life. I really, it forced me to be brave. So I, I guess this one, that was the first thought. Yeah. Be brave yeah. and be yourself. Yeah. Amazing. I think that's a very good advice. I think we need to always be brave. You know what I mean? And face the challenges. Whatever comes to us, we need to be brave and face it and try to to yeah, understand to, to be brave for example you know to, to not let the ank know stop you and to not to miss something precious and in your life maybe so because i was you know i was always a shy guy mm -hmm. you know and i guess i'm still uh, you know that's that's why I'm, i'm a little nervous here right now so i'm more as a shy guy you can see my pictures you know on instagram but you know the truth is i I'm shy inside, so, mm -hmm. so I don't know if it's a good, it's a good or not good. I don't know. So. They are not right. They are not wrong or right. Just the way it, uh, you are. If I tell you that I'm shy as well, would you believe that? Mm. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody believes. But guess <laughs> what? I am. I'm a shy guy. But um, uh, and people misunderstand because. I'm very easy talking, like I'm very easy communicating, I'm very easy talking to people. And uh, when I'm talking to people, I feel like it's like, a, a, it's like a defense, you know what I mean? But if I need to do something on my own, if I need to, you know what I mean, talk, I feel very shy. I'm a very shy person as well. And um, for example, when I do the show, when I'm doing the show, when I'm talking to people, connect with people, I forget that I'm recording because I'm connecting with the person. But sometimes when I need to know to do those videos, like the introduction for the show, oh my God, I do like three, four times because I get very shy. When I'm on my own, <laughs> alone, doing the introduction, I feel very shy. Oh, thank you. I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> it, helps. Yeah. It, helps. it helps me a little. Absolutely, I think, uh, and again, being shy is not a bad thing. Being shy can be very um, um, charming, you know what I mean? It can be very like special being shy because some guys, some people, they like all the shy people, yeah, you know what I mean? Attractive too. You know I mean? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> for example, if, when I go out like for a club or something, if I see like a shy guy on the side, like on the corner, it gets my attention straight away. I find very charming. I think it's very, um, it's very interesting. Yeah, that's for, true. Yes, I think it's in the same way. Yeah. 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 So that's being shy it. or not being shy, they're not like wrong or right. It's just the way we should always be the way we are. You know what I mean? Of course, mm -hmm. sometimes we should talk or try to go out of our comfort zone. Of course, understand that. But being shy is not a bad thing at all. You know what I mean? It's just a part of our personality. Yeah. Do, do you remember the, the the best advice I got from other people? Do, be yourself, right? So if I'm shy, so why not? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's not wrong being shy. It's just the way you are. Is that a yeah, problem? That's true. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question for you is, what is the most beautiful thing somebody has ever done for you? Mm, wow. And again, the first, I need to be honest, right? So mm -hmm. I want to be honest. And the first thought was my, my loving partner of brother you know he was he was because he passed away uh, oh. he was an american and uh, he did so many beautiful things to me you know i've never experienced in my entire life wow I was so happy and he showed me so many interesting things and he was so good to me no one was such such a good guy to me like he was you know and i that's that's the this is uh there are so many memories uh, for, the, for the rest of my life and i think he's the main person you know in my life i'm 49 
and uh, the time I spent with him it was the most beautiful. You know, I felt like in heaven. You know. Oh, whatever he's uh, whatever he is right now, he's he's smiling right now. Listen to you saying that for sure. I have a picture of him here. You know. <laughs> Can I see? Can I see? Yeah, sure. Yeah. But it was a winter time, so so the weather. That's him. Oh my God! Wow. And um, how did you guys meet up? Uh, it was social media, you know. I guess uh, it was uh, MySpace, I guess. Mm -hmm. And no, it was it was also MySpace. It was Gay Royal, a Gay Royal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so afraid because I tried to avoid uh, sites like that. Actually, I don't believe you can find someone, you know, for for a long time. Uh, so we both were so surprised, you know, and it wow. was a lot of the first sight, you know. So, wow. And that's why you're living in America. Yes, because it was uh, shortly said, said it was like uh, his mom uh, died. And just three days, uh, three days later, Robert passed away of cardiac, cardiac arrest. Oh my so God! His heart was too weak, and it was too much, I guess, to him. So, so they just uh, they both passed, uh, you know, passed away, just within three days of each other. So it was oh wow, the shocking news. And I remember, uh, and you know, I was in Poland at at this moment. It was it was the the worst part. I couldn't be there. You know. Wow. Yeah. And how long how long you were, you were together for? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Oh, uh, but uh, what counts, Roland? Right now, I think, uh, as you said about the memories, his memory is always gonna be in your heart. You know what I mean? And as I said, he's he's always gonna be part of your life. You know what I mean? And I'm sure whatever he is right now, look, I've got goosebumps now, like talking about that. <laughs> I'm sure whatever he is right now. He's smiling, and uh, I'm so glad that um, you shared that because you know what I mean. His memory is always going to be in your heart, and meant to be this way. Yeah, you're right. You know, and yeah, for sure, it's a, it's a little bit, you know, it's sad, but you know, it's, of course, it's part of, part of uh, the, our life. So. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm sure it's it's and sad, but this. Sorry, and he was smiling all the time, just like you. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my God! Very, very, I'm very glad that this. this I remember question. he always used to used to, he always used to say, used to say to me, "Keep smiling, you know, keep smiling." <laughs> Absolutely, very good, very good. Let's go for another question. Let's do it, Roland. Okay, Roland from Poland. Next question for you is, what is something not many people know about you? Private, something very private. Only I, I know it, and you know, people. Uh, for example, my partner, who is so close to me, there is a, 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 this kind of closeness and mm -hmm. intimacy. So only, the, the, only this person can know it. You know, but it's very private things. You know, the rest people just know about me. You know, <laughs> because I'm, I'm so open. I, I'm, I said at the very beginning that I am a shy guy. You know, but I have my moments, you know, it, I, I am so open and people really, they almost know everything about me. So amazing. Amazing. You are open book. That's why it's difficult for me to only, you know, such a private things, you know, in your bedroom. That's a, that's a subject only for me. And the, Absolutely. That's just for you to know. Nobody needs to know that. <laughs> the rest is so, it's so obvious and open for everyone. <laughs> Very good, very good. Let's get another question for you, Roland. Let's do it. Before the next question, Roland, tell me, um, in your opinion, when you were doing the paintings, when you were uh, involved with your arts, yeah, what was the most difficult part and uh, what did you like the most about um, being an artist painting? The most difficult part? Most 
No, I guess uh, maybe it, it sounds weird a little bit, but financial issues, the most difficult part, because I never had any problems with uh, creation. I always, uh, I'm always inspired by something. Uh, I have so many ideas, like, you know, that money issues was a big problem to me. That's why now I have this job, you know. So I guess this one. And uh, what do you like? What do you like the most about being an artist? An artist uh, to express yourself. For me, uh, uh, painting is like a therapy through the art. It helps a lot. Uh, the moments when you can show yourself, uh, you know, on the exhibitions. It's it's so exciting. And that you want to share uh, your feelings, your emotions with other people. And mm -hmm. if you are if you are very observant, so you can you can get so many things to know about my life, private life, just by studying my my art. So because mostly mostly I I paint what I go through in my life. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes uh, you know even garbage can be inspiring, but mostly I I paint what I go through in my life, so, and I share this with people. Amazing! So I like it. I, I, oh, now I have the answer. I like this is what I like the most when you can share. It's like you then you feel maybe a little bit more free but because uh, it's a therapy so you you you're just free from your emotions and on and at the same time you can share something with other people amazing very good next question for you is what is your morning ritual <laughs> that's easy thank you <laughs> <laughs> uh, coffee in bed Really? And, uh, every day, because I'm, I'm not a quick person. I'm not a fast person in the morning. I need a little bit of time, you know, so uh, so I, I I really, I like to get up uh, earlier in the morning uh, before uh, my work. Mm -hmm. Only to just spend uh, half an hour in bed with coffee. It helped me, it helps me to tune, you know, to the new day. And uh, because I'm so, so slowly in the morning, it helps me so much. And, and without coffee, uh, sometimes uh, when I forgot to buy coffee or something like this, so I have headache, headache right away and my day wasn't good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I enjoy it, I enjoy it so much. It's just a pleasant, pleasant moment for me. I see. Are you more of a day or a night person? Uh, it changed, you know. I was a, a night person for mm -hmm. a long time, and now uh, I, I notice when I go when I uh, go to bed and I fall asleep before midnight, I sleep better. So I even got up at five, four. I don't need to you know that early because I start my job at eight, you know. But I feel okay. I feel so good, you know. I just got up, you know, doing something. Coffee first, of course. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it changed. But now, yeah, on weekends, I, I, uh, I, I'm more a night person. I see. All right. Ready for another question? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. Next question. <laughs> Okay, Roland from Poland. Next question for you is, what bores you? Boring, boring, yeah? Yeah. Boring people. Yes, when uh, nothing happens, or sometimes I, uh, it's difficult to say, you know, but sometimes it's necessary when nothing happens, you know, and you have just peaceful and quiet, I like it. But uh, when it's too long, it, then it's boring, you know. So I like when something happens. I like to meet with people, you know, laugh and have it fun. You know, that's nice. You know. Amazing. But mostly the boring people, you know, 
then uh, being lonely i was uh, i was lonely for a long time but you know why because of uh, my partner passed away so mm -hmm. that was boring but uh, i need it you know so i just don't uh, i don't have so many situations that i feel that i'm bored you know and it's because you're always doing something, you're always active. Yeah, That's I always good. Trying to, it wasn't like that, you know, but now I'm uh, I'm so active during the day, mm -hmm. not in the morning, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but during the day, I'm fast, I'm really fast, and till the end, you know, so till I drop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Roland, I have three questions left for you. Oh. <laughs> it's going fast, you see? It's because oh, we are gosh. enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, but before the next question, being a gay boy, did you always have the support of your family? Was it easy for you to be gay as a child or not? Mm, wow. That, it's a, that's a tough question. So I tried to... No, it wasn't. So, hmm. I, I guess I need to start. I need to begin from from that uh, that I was I was uh, I was an adoptive child. Ah. Yes, and and you know uh, the truth is I I've never seen my biological father in okay. my entire life. I'm 49 and I've never seen him. I saw I saw my biological mother once in my life. But my adoptive parents, you know, my father passed away when I, I was 12. And I have a good, so good relations with him. So I wow. have a very good memories with him. But my adoptive mother, uh, things got uh, worse when she, when she got to know I was gay. And that was, uh, that was a summertime. Uh, the, uh, after the first year uh, of my college, and a letter arrived from my first boyfriend, my first love, and she opened it and read it, you know. And it was all possible things, what he wanted to do with me in sexual way. <laughs> <laughs> I was so embarrassed, you know, how much, how much he, he missed me, how much he loves me. And, you know, I was, I was surprised. She, she just asked. She just asked me if what it, it was true. I I said yes, and then uh, if you change your mind, you can stay here. But if not, you will have to leave the house. So, mm. and she really meant it. So, I don't have a contact with her until now. Everything you know, everything was over. Wow. She could accept this. So I didn't have so uh, I didn't have any support from my family uh -huh. except my sister. She was uh, she was the whole family to me, and until now, because I'm gonna meet her in August. Amazing. You know, she was always you know so good for me, and she has but, a sweet. And how old are you when that uh, happened? Um, the second. Uh, it was 20, 20, I guess. It was 20. But your I sister, know. your sister, war. It was from your by uh, your uh, adopted yeah, parents. Adop yeah, adoptive parents. And your yeah. she's older than you. Yes, she's older than me. She's 60, 65, I guess. Now. So she's the, she was the only one who gave like a hand. She, uh, she, she gave me a lot of support, and she tried to explain to, because to her mom because this is mm -hmm. her mom but it was not it was not it wasn't easy you know she didn't want to listen so for me of course i could lie right i could say uh but it was so weird to me you know i i'm i was always open and brave mm -hmm. i wanted to be myself uh, so i i i said to her mm, because you know it was weird because uh, should I should I pretend to get a permission to stay? You know. So 
I just decided to say the truth because how can you switch, you know, all of a sudden switch from being gay, you know, not to being straight, you know, it's, Absolutely. I think, I think, thank you, Roland, for, for sharing this uh, event in your life. And uh, I think it's very important what you said. It's very powerful because you're just living the way you meant to be. You, you know what I mean? You, you're brave to, you know, to step in for yourself, to, to go like, okay, that's me. That's the way I am. And, um, you know, you just, it was, I'm sure, it was very hard and difficult for you at the time because imagine, someone who you love, someone who go like, oh my God, the one you're waiting, like a very good support, and she wasn't there to give support. So I think, you know what I mean? It, um, it made you the person you are today, and I'm sure everything counts in the end of the day. Yeah, thank you, William. Yeah, I see. I'm sure, I'm sure. I think all of us, we should be as well. I know it's, it's difficult, those events in life, but in the end of the day, it just make, make us stronger, you know what I mean? And, uh, you just go like, okay, I'm, I'm special. You know, I think you are very special to go through that and to be the way you are. I think it's, not, it's so special people around the world when they have those events in life, for yeah. sure. I you know, I, that was, there was a price I, you know, I paid for it, but I couldn't pretend myself. And, you know. Of course, of course. Anyway, I'm glad that you, you are in a good place right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next question for you is, oh, tough question now, very tough question, okay? If nice. someone came up to you and say, with an envelope, yeah, with your death date inside of it, would you open it or not, and why? Yes, I would open it. Really? Wow, tell me why. So, because uh, I'm brave enough, I'm not, uh, I'm not afraid of death, you know? And I guess it wouldn't uh, disturb me in anything, and maybe even help me, because if I, if I know, for example, it's gonna be in two years, right? So I will live the life to the fullest, you know. Wow. <laughs> Not to waste a single minute. Yeah. Wow, you are very brave for sure. Wow, I'll be so scared. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would open. Not because I, I, I would be curious. Just curious, you know. Yeah. I just want to live there your life the best you can. Yes, uh, I think um, because of this reason, that reason to to know what to do with my life in a better way. You know, maybe I can improve something. I can, uh, you know, I can have time to to do something important. You know, to improve something. You know, to say sorry to some somebody. You know, who needed. Yeah. Very good. Good one. Two questions left for you. Let's do it. Okay, Roland, next question for you is, which question would you like to be asked? Which question? <laughs> yes, where do you want to live? The best place you want to live in now. There you which go. What yeah. what place that would be if you could answer that? Yeah. So, uh, I guess uh, I, uh, is it okay with three places? Yeah. So this is uh, Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 somewhere in Ireland. I love the uh, and Britain, Great Britain. Hey. Something, something here. No. <laughs> Yeah. Amazing. And uh, why Amsterdam? I was in Amsterdam. Well, I was, I've been to Amsterdam three times. Mm -hmm. First time when I was in my college. And uh, the third time a year ago, in August. You know, I love this city. I fell in love with this city, you know, at the very beginning. Freedom, mostly freedom. And the city is so beauty, beautiful. The canals, water. I don't know if you if you notice I painted two paintings from Amsterdam. My favorite places. I just took a peek, and I, when I came back home, I tried to paint what I saw. So, wow. and I, you know, I saw I saw these paintings. You know, I shipped them to the United States. Amazing, amazing. You know what? I'm going there in two weeks. 
Oh my. How nice. <laughs> yes. I've been there so many times. I've been there so many times. I have a friend of mine, a good friend. He lives in Helmond. It's like one hour by car from Amsterdam. And um, I've been there so many times and I love the city as well. And um, it's going to be the Gay Pride in two weeks' time. And I'm going to go for the Gay Pride. And I was there when it was Gay Pride. No. Oh, really? It's going to be the first time I'm going to go for the Gay Pride. I've never been the Gay Pride there. It's going to be the first time. Uh, yeah, and now there's it's possible. Last year, uh, everything was cancelled almost. Yeah, yeah. Right, ready for the last very, one? And, uh, yeah, and very romantic city as well, you know. Amsterdam. It is, it very is. Romantic. Absolutely. Yeah. I think the whole parks around, people, they are so friendly. I love Amsterdam. I yeah. think that yeah. is sweet. Okay, let's do the last question, Roland. Let's do it. But before the last question, people watching the interview, would you like to start a career as an artist, painting, you know what I mean? What would be your best piece of advice? Oh. Well, do not be afraid to paint, to create, and don't think what's, un what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. Just be yourself and you know, follow the emotions, inner voice, and just mostly don't be afraid to paint because most of the people uh, I was a teacher in art you know they were so afraid to paint to draw they were so slowly so precise you know you just need to follow your emotions and uh, forget about uh, things like that just be crazy you know and um, when you are, you are crazy and then so then the best things you can paint, you know, Amazing. emotion, the K is emotions, you know. Very good. Last question for you is, what is the nicest thing a family member has ever done for you? Family member? No, it will be my sister, of course. Yeah. Wow, but uh, William, she, she did so many beautiful things to me. Oh. She, Wow! Oh, it's uh, I can compare compare her to my partner, Robert. Wow! Yeah, she helped me a lot. So many good advices. She has a wonderful life attitude. I learned a lot from her. Uh, What's her name? Eva. Yeah. Eva. Hello, Eva. Hello, Eva. Your <laughs> brother is very, very proud of you. Very, very proud. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna show her this. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Send her I, my love yeah. as well. Send her my love to her. Send, okay, let, tell you. her that. Hello, Eva. I'm sending my love to you, okay? <laughs> so, it's so, so sweet of you. Thank you, William. Yeah. Oh. And you know, I could always, you know, uh, rely on her. When I have difficult moments, she just say, pack your luggage and go, come to me. You know, wow. sometimes for three months and longer. So, oh, when I have no place to go, you know, that was that was the moment. You know, so I went to I went to Sweden to to her, and she helped me a lot. So I could you know, I could uh, get together. You know, amazing. <laughs> oh, that to real life. Amazing. I think there are beautiful people around us that sometimes we always need to remember there is always very beautiful people around us to protect us, to look after us, to share life with us, to give us good advice, just to be around us. I think there are very good people there. We, we should always be grateful for those people, for sure. Yes, I'm so, I'm so grateful. For, yes. Amazing. Right, it's not the end yet. Let's play now the word association game. I'm going to give away some words. Just tell me one word that comes to your mind. Quick thinking, okay? Okay. So, I hope you are enjoying the interview. Before we do the word association game, don't forget to give a like, don't forget to share this video, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Just click on the bottom right there. Thank you so much and enjoy the word association game. Family. Family. Sister. Money. Yeah. Uh, just a necessary thing. One word for love. Love. 
the most important thing in our lives, the higher love. One word for life. Life. Uh, fragile. Sex. Uh, pleasure and uh, but the, <laughs> the yeah the most beautiful and the, you know the most when you have when you do it with your loved one you know when there are emotions intimacy and closeness but just the sex with uh, a stranger it's not the same and you know uh, I don't I I don't look for someone just for one night <laughs> <laughs> One word for politics. Politics. Uh, I, you know, uh, honestly, I'm I'm not interested. Okay. One word I, for religion. Religion. Uh, a prayer. Okay. Hope, hope and faith. Fear. Fear. Mm, to to be lonely. Friendship. Lonely. Friendship. Uh, a treasure. One word for desire. Desire. Mm. <laughs> Love and sex, you know. Ooh. Regrets. With one, but with the one and only, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Regrets. Regret? Uh, some stupid things I done. Success. Success. Uh, to be loved. To love and be loved. For me, it's a success. In life. One word for wish. Wish? Uh, wish. Mm, when your dream come true. One word for happiness. Happiness. Oh, that's, that's so similar. Uh, happiness, uh, a state or yeah, when your wish, when your wish uh, comes true. <laughs> Okay, as you lived in, in, in the US, in Denmark, in Sweden, tell me one word for the USA. USA? Mm, wow. Yes. Just, I have so, you know, it's spinning in my head right now. You know, it's so many. <laughs> mm. yeah. Because, you know, I was so surprised. There's so many American flags, you know, all around. I loved American flag, you know, so I just, oh, American flag, American flag here and there. But you know what? I would say, I, um, I would say uh, spaghetti warehouse. <laughs> One word for Sweden. For Sweden? Um, yes, could I. In okay. Swedish, it means I love you. Oh. <laughs> One word for Poland. For Poland. Uh, sorry for that, Polish, uh, my friends and prejudice. Okay. okay. And the last one now, artist, one word. Artist. Uh, a free person. Okay, cool. Let's okay. pretend now I'm going, I'm going to meet your lovely sister for a coffee and I'm going to ask her define Roland in one positive word and one negative word only what she would say <laughs> uh, the good side a sensitive okay sometimes too much too much but uh, the, the worst part uh, I'm naive I guess too much naive yeah all right let <laughs> let's play now <laughs> roland and the magic box and you can ask me a question ah, this, okay so you can ask me a question now yes uh because you know william uh you have such a beautiful smile and you keep smiling all the time it's contagious you know so oh, thank I, was you. Watching, I was watching you know more of your interviews and you know uh, anytime I saw you, I start smiling, you know. Oh, thank you. I, I, just, I just feel, you know, such a great joy from you. And then my question, my, my question is, what's your driving, uh, driving force in your life that makes you feel so joyful? 
Oh, thanks for the question, Roland. Thanks so much as well for the, the nice compliments. You know what, uh, Roland? What I think for me, it's um, as we were talking before, for me, the, the best joy of life is for you to be yourself. You know, I try to be myself every single day. And uh, I think it's, uh, I just have this, you know, joy. I, I just love waking up every morning and know that it's a new day full of like uh, opportunities to make mistakes, to meet new people, to be sad or to be so happy, to be kind, to make, you know what I mean, something that you're not proud of, anything. I think we should be always, you know, I just like to wake up every day thinking that it's a new opportunity in life. I remember when I was very young, when I was seven years old, my grandmother, she told me once, I never forget that, and I will do every day in my life. She said to me, my son, she called my son, my grandmother, she said, look, when you wake up every single day, before you stand up from bed, have a moment with God or whatever you believe. Just go like, thanks so much for another day. Protect me, protect me for anything. Protect the people around me as well. And she said to me, trust me, nothing bad is going to happen to you. It's going to have a lot of challenge for you in life. Like everyone will have challenges. We have some days that we are sad. But she said, if you are always like grateful for what you have, if you are always um, try to be a good person, nothing bad is gonna happen to you. So since that moment, you know, all the time when I wake up and when I go to bed, I have this moment with myself. And I think that's what makes me happy. That's what makes me, you know, joyful because I just try to live life, you know, in a way that I can connect with people. I can, you know, be myself. I can make mistakes. I do mistakes. I make mistakes almost every day or every day. And I think that's what the best part of life is for you to live life knowing that it's a gift. Life is a gift. We need to be always grateful for uh, to be here now. Imagine we are sharing a moment now. Imagine how beautiful is that? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So it's just a moment that um, being grateful, that's what life is about. So that, yeah, yeah that's uh, what makes me happy and uh, joyful. It's just about living life. There are such a beautiful words, uh, William. And you know what? I, I do the same, you know, every day. Yeah. Uh, in the morning when I drink in this coffee, when I drink this coffee and when I came back from work, there's a church here, you know, mm -hmm. so close, you know, if I, I, so I, I drop into the church for just for a moment to say thank you. And so powerful. It helps. I, 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 I do exact same thing. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should always be grateful, Roland, when you are grateful for, for life. Life gives us back good things as well, make us feel peaceful, happy. And that's what life is about. It's for us to live life, you know what I mean? Be the best you can, be good to people, you know what I mean? And uh, believe me, nothing um, is gonna, gonna happen to you. That's for sure. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Did you have a good time? Did you enjoy the interview? Feel more relaxed now? Yes, uh, you know what? Uh... Yes, of sure. I'm more relaxed and not. I'm not so nervous like I was at the very beginning. But still, you know, it's, it's something new for me. I, I need. I'm a shy guy. Remember that. Of course, of course. Not all the time. Not all the time. I, I had my moments. You know, there, there's, there are many situations that I'm so brave, uh, more than other people in the same situation. But I don't know. Uh, how to explain it you know? <laughs> I understand I'm shy as well I understand your point I'm shy as well it's just the way it's just the way we are you know what I mean and mm -hmm. that's um, but always keep the way we are that's the most important thing okay. before you go Roland if you can say a positive mm -hmm. message something that inspires you yes I was preparing to that a little you know and I found a thought you know a, a goat and it, mm -hmm. it, it is about love mm-hmm uh, and I want to share this with you and with other people. I wonder, I wonder what you would think about it, because it's uh, that love is uh, space and time measured by the heart. You know? and uh, you know, it's it sounds so obvious, you know, but for me, maybe not, not for me, you know. And I, I'm a little confused because I uh, many times I, I see a duality in things 
I think uh, so often are you now relative to me. Uh, so um, from one side, you know, I understand that it's necessary sometimes and important and worth to wait and be patient, mostly to be patient, but I guess I'm not. You know, so it's the same. It's the same about paintings. When I when I want to paint something, so I begin and finished on the same day. I want to see results right away, immediately. You know, so so <laughs> so most most of my paintings, you know, even huge sizes, you know, they they took me just a couple hours. You know. Wow. Yeah, and and uh, here, you know, people say that good things need time. But people, um, from the other hand, people also say that uh, life is uh, too short to waste a single minute. You know, times run, time runs, life is short, so why we should wait? You know, and you know it's about love because I'm, the, you know, all of my life I'm so confused, you know, and, <laughs> and I want to, I want to uh, uh, tell you something, you know, so. In a moment, you know. Uh, so I think uh, when you get someone to know, uh, I believe uh, in love from at the first sight, you know. Mm -hmm. But many times, it, when you get someone to know, you don't. You, you can be sure one hundred percent that it it is your lot, you know, one and long, one and only. But I I believe and I. Uh, I think there is still a feeling that something is important. So you you, you will feel it you know, deep in your veins. You can have it under your skin, a magical feeling, and it's good to follow it. You know, even if you're not sure, you don't know many things at the very beginnings. There is a feeling that that forces you to do something. So why we should wait? Why uh, <laughs> you should think if you are too fast or not too fast, what's appropriate, what's uh, inappropriate. Just, I would say, just uh, don't hesitate, go for it, act. Do not maybe lose something precious in your life, maybe love, right, and, and a good relationship. So just, I don't know, there's an inner voice. It's worth to listen to, listen to your heart, follow your heart. Follow your heart, your intuition as well. I think it's very strong. Follow, yeah, follow your intuition. So yeah. I'm confused because uh, uh, one month ago, about one month ago, I got someone to know and I also got so confused. You know, and it's still like <laughs> that and I don't know what to say. <laughs> It will come with time. I think you understand. You understand with time. You understand if they're right or not. It come with time for sure. Yeah, for sure. Roland, thank you so much for the interview. It was a pleasure, and you keep in touch. Okay, regards to your sister. When you see her, say hello from me. And um, yeah, and you keep, and, you keep in touch. Sure. And William, I want to say thank you for having me here. So I. The the pleasure is all mine. Thanks so much for taking the time for the interview. Okay? Yeah, that you found it interesting to interview me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Keep in touch. Naraje. Naraje. <laughs> bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Leon. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks so much. Bye bye. So, did you like the show? Don't forget to give a like, share it, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, first, subscribe to our channel, and after that, just go to our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com, and send us a request saying why would you like to be part of the show. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye, see you next time.